When you work with the land, you're very aware of light. You're very aware of darkness. You're very aware of, you know, if it's a hot day, if it's a cold day. Everything is connected back to the earth. My family's been making wines in Oregon for over 45 years. We left a little cute, you know, suburb of Northern California, and then you drive into this place that's basically, you know, it was a gravel road, it was raining, and you're looking out your window and your mom says, we're here, and you know, what do you see is a little shack. The whole reason for that move was based on Pinot Noir. We're not looking for a lot of heat. We're not even looking for a lot of sunlight. We just want cool, moderate temperatures that allows this small little grape time to grow, but also to get these really beautiful flavor characteristics out of it. I think that um, the first thing you learn when you come to Oregon is you know, you're not gonna use the umbrella because you're just gonna get out and you're gonna get wet and you're just gonna get into it because that's where all the cool stuff is. The adventures are in all those trails up in the gorge. You know, there's just so many things to explore here in Oregon. It's all about getting out and discovering what it is that you wanna do here.